All new tonight, a warning for drivers on I-10. Someone may be taking aim at cars. DPS telling us a third vehicle shot late last night near 16th Street. All new tonight, the reward to catch whoever is taking aim at drivers on the I-10 just went up to $5,000. We've been telling you about this since last weekend. Four vehicles shot, including an SUV, tour bus and work truck all happening between 16th Street and 59th Avenue. Those freeway shootings, nine of them in the Phoenix metro area in just a matter of 10 days in the search, extremely active at this hour, Dan. Now, one of the late, latest incidents happened before the six o'clock yesterday morning, this truck window you can see was shattered. An off duty police sergeant was heading east. Then this box truck was actually hit heading west. Later in the day, DPS says another call in the area of I 10. Add that to a fourth victim on the 51 in recent days, a fifth on the loop 202. Anytime that you have multiple shootings against American citizens on a highway, that's terrorism. They're trying to frighten or kill somebody. In what officials are calling another case of domestic terror, police in Phoenix confirm a delivery truck was shot at today. That's now at least 11 vehicles that have come under fire on or near the I-10 in the past two weeks. Arizona State Highway Troopers are now offering a $20,000 reward for any leads on the shootings that have left this city terrified. The 11 confirmed shootings are along a 15-mile stretch of Interstate 10. Some drivers tell us they are changing their routes. Others don't have that luxury. More developments this morning in the freeway shootings investigation. Uh, there have been reports of a possible incident in the far west valley. Yeah, we want to show you where this is. I-10 westbound near Cotton Lane. You see it there. That's near the Loop 303 exchange. Reports of shots fired standing by west on I-10 Sun Valley Parkway. Thinks it occurred somewhere around the 303 and I-10 junction. Right now, a DPS has several unsolved freeway shootings cases. Investigators say only a handful are tied to the single suspect. This we know, uh, Leslie Merritt Jr., the only person that's been named thus far. Prosecutors say Leslie Merritt Jr. is responsible for the first four freeway shootings. But since his arrest in September, DPS has made no additional arrests or updated the public on the unsolved cases. There's nothing I have in... Um, information wise that would suggest that there is a present ongoing continuing particular threat against anyone. We got him. That was the message Arizona's governor tweeted when police finally arrested a suspect in the Phoenix freeway shootings. Nearly a dozen vehicles have been shot at along the I-10 since late August. Last night, a 21 year old landscaper named Leslie Merritt Jr. was charged with four of the 11 confirmed shootings which does raise the question, has the case been entirely solved? This suspect uh, presents a dramatic and profound threat to the community. Shackled uh, in prison stripes, 21-year-old Leslie Merritt Jr. was defiant at his first court appearance. May I speak? He's accused of at least four of the 11 freeway shootings that have panicked Phoenix drivers for weeks. A judge had just ordered Merritt held on $1 million bail and warned him about self-incrimination. But Merritt spoke anyway. All I have to say is that I'm the wrong guy. I tried telling the detective that. But authorities say they have the right guy because they traced his gun to a local pawn shop. Merritt, a father of two, was arrested last night in a Walmart parking lot. Arizona Public Safety Director Frank Milstead. The weapon that he owned uh, is forensically linked to these crimes. Welcome to ADMC Investigations. That was a long intro, so I won't subject it to too much more. If you want to make sure that this channel continues to bring you consistent true crime content, I want you to investigate, interrogate, arrest, and convict that subscribe button for life. It is clearly guilty, and you do not want to miss what we have coming. Okay, enough rambling. Let's get into it. This is the interrogation of Leslie Merritt Jr., the suspected I-10 shooter. It took place on September 18th, 2015 in Maricopa County, Arizona. I think the news clips at the start of the video give plenty of context. Stay tuned after the interrogation for more information on the outcome of this case. And here's how his interrogation went. We're going to get those cups off you right now and get you some water. All right, uh, I got one question. Uh, where's my wife and daughter, man? Your wife is home with your daughter. Right. Her mom came and picked her up. All right, so that's all I wanted to know, man. Yeah. Am I being arrested? Uh, you are under arrest. 
For what? We'll explain that right now. Hold on, man. If I go in and take these off, you know, no, man, I just you'd be a struggle to be cool with this? I just have no idea why I had a bunch of guns yeah. in my face, man. Yeah, cool. We'll, we'll get all that. We'll get all that work done. Well, if I had known I was going to jail, I would have uh, got my wallet so I can at least get out in the morning or something. Well, water, 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 get you a drink. I'm sure you're a little thirsty. Okay, um, before we get going, can I get you to just provide me with your full name and spell each name so that I have the correct spellings and all that stuff? I have some information in here. I just want to make sure that I have all that correct information. Leslie, L E S L E, Allen, A A R A L L E N, Merritt, M E R R I T T, Jr. Okay, and Leslie, what's your date of birth? 62094. 62094? Okay, and what's a good residential address for you? Probably mine, uh, 6645 West Myrtle. Okay, is there an apartment number uh, or anything? Uh, number one. Okay, and do you have a good contact telephone number? Well, let me see if I know though. I just got a phone, I think it's a 602, or no, 623-522-0510. Okay. And now is that a is that a That's landline or is that a cell, right cell phone? Okay. Phone I have. All right. All right. Before we go any further, uh, Leslie, I'm going to advise you of your rights per Miranda. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to be present or have the you have the right to the presence of an attorney to assist you prior to questioning and to be with you during questioning if you so desire. If you cannot afford an attorney, you have the right to have an attorney appointed for you prior to any questioning. Do you understand your rights? Mm -hmm. Okay, understanding your rights, are you willing to speak with us? Yeah. Okay. All right, um, before we get going, there's a couple things that I need to get before we get started on the interview, mm -hmm. okay? So if you give me a couple minutes, and we'll be right back with you, okay? It's uh, 2306 hours. What's that, 1123? Yeah, I got it, I got it. Back in the room at 2309 hours. Okay, Leslie, why do you think you're here? Dude, I got no clue, man. Not at all. Got off work, went to go cash my check, and I said, no, whole damn world in my face with guns. Why do you why do you think you would be here? I haven't an idea, man. Cafe take or something? I don't know. I don't. Okay. Anything that you can think of that you might have done or something that would no, get man. you here? Been staying out of trouble. Okay. All right. Um, do you own a uh, nine millimeter high point yes. some automatic handgun? Okay. Um, tell me about that. How did you come in possession of that handgun? I bought it from Cabela's, brand okay. new in the box. All right. And do you remember when you purchased it? Oh, shit. It's got to be a couple weeks after I turned 21. Okay, and when did you turn 21? June 20th June. of this so, year. And so you're, and you're saying a couple weeks or a couple months? It's got to be about a month at least, yeah. Okay, all right. And do you recall what you paid for it? $139. $165 with a box of ammo. Okay, and what kind of ammo did you purchase with it? What was it called? Like Herders or some cheap eleven ninety nine box. Okay, did you get that at the same time that you purchased mm -hmm. the gun at Cabela's? Yeah, and I also had... Should have reported it, but I didn't. But what, probably a month ago, I had 250 Winchester rounds. I had them in my trunk because I was going to go to the range, and someone stole them out of my trunk. Okay. Not my gun. My gun's been at the pawn shop for the last month, a month and a half. Okay. And uh, when you purchased the gun, what was the purpose or the reason for you to purchase the gun? Just because I can carry it. Wow. Um, carry it for what reason? Well, I live in Glendale, man. Okay. You know, is Glendale a bad place? I mean, it's a pretty shitty neighborhood, but. It's affordable for me and my family, so. Okay, okay. And when you purchased it, um, have you ever lent it out to anybody or? No, no. 
No, so so you always had possession of, of yeah. that nine millimeter. Yeah, I pawned it a couple of times, but that's it. I've had it. Okay, well, tell me about those incidents that you pawned it. Well, the first time, I needed money for formula and electricity. All right, well, let's go right here to Mo Money Pawns on 12th Street in Indian School. Gave me what they gave me the first time. If they gave me 60 the first time, and then 60 again, and then 70. Okay, so you pawned it three times? Yep. And at the same pawn shop, Mo Money Pawn? Yep, every time. Okay, when was the first time that you pawned it? I don't know, man. It's been a little while. Okay, well, to you, what's a little while? Maybe two months. Two months ago, okay. And then the second time that you pawned it? About a week after I got it right back out of pawn. Okay, and then the most recent time that you pawned it? Probably about a month and a half. A month and a half ago? Yeah. And it's just been sitting there. I've okay. Had... So you're saying that it's been at Mo Money Pawn for the last month and a half? Mm hmm. I mean, I got it out, had it with me for a week, put it back because I needed something. Got it out, put it back, got it out, put it back. Okay, so are you positive the most recent time that you pawned it was a month and a half? I'm fairly certain. Matter of fact, if you guys have my vehicle, the pawn ticket's in my car. Well, abs well, here's the deal. I know when you pawned it, so I just want to make sure because that's, that's an incorrect date. It wasn't a month and a half ago. That's where it's at, man. Okay. Well, I know where it was at. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying you didn't pawn it a month and a half ago, so. Let's see. Okay, I can I can do about about three weeks then. Three weeks. It has to be because I got paid. Shortly after that, I didn't have enough money to pay some bills, so I went and pawned it. I said, all right, I'll be back in two weeks, and now it's been four weeks. Okay. Um. Tell me um about your work schedule. Uh, before we let me go back on this, who, who do you work for? Landscape Excellence. Okay, and how long have you been working for them? Six months. Okay, and um, what is your work schedule with them? Well, up until when I started in February, it was what, seven to four, then it started getting hot, so we went to five thirty to two, and now we're at six to two thirty. Okay, and um, lately we've had quite a bit of overtime coming in. Okay. Right. Last week I had five hours extra. Okay, and then what are your days that you work? Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Occasionally Saturdays if the boss asks us, who wants to work Saturday? Well, okay, when's the last time that you worked a Saturday? Um, Labor Day. Labor Day? Because we work Saturday to make for Labor Day. Okay. Um, tell me about your day on August 29th of this year. Would have been a Saturday, Sorry. August 29th. That's right before Labor Day, huh? That work? No, I just, I'm just August asking 29th. you if you can take me through your day. Wait, man, I'll be honest. I don't keep track of my days. Man, I go to work, I come home, I eat, and I sleep. I go to work, I come home, I eat, and I sleep. Okay. All right, on the weekends, um, do I you... go stay home or go to my mother in law's or other, other family members' house. Do you ever go out shooting or anything? Every once in a while, yeah. Okay, how often do you go shooting? I think I've shot that gun until four separate occasions. Four separate occasions? Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you do that normally on the weekends? Mm -hmm. When's the last time that you went out shooting with it? How was that? Where was I went to was 91st and Bell Road at Shooter's World. And that had to have been... I don't even know, man. Two okay. coming months at least. I haven't. I mean, last time I shot it, I cleaned it and I put it away, and now it's at the pawn shop, clean. Okay. Well, are you are you familiar with all these shootings that have been occurring on I-10? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, tell me what you know about these shootings that have been occurring on I-10. I know they've happened from like 83rd to 16th Street, mm -hmm. something like that. What else do you know about? They got a couple guys already that are, what do they call them? Suspects and being questioned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's what we're here to talk about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I won't beat around the bush anymore. Let's, I'm let's a just suspect get, in that, yeah. you, You're beyond a suspect in this, okay? How am I beyond and, a suspect? Well, I'm going to tell you right now that the your 9 millimeter high point, we have it. Mm -hmm. It's been removed out of pawn. And it was the weapon that was used in these shootings. It has been, it has be been scientifically analyzed by our crime lab. Okay. And it has been shown that mm -hmm. bullets that were recovered from our crime scenes came from that gun. Okay, now is there uh, someone can explain to me how my gun got out of pawn without me? Absolutely, because we I seized not... it. We seized it. Okay. Okay. Um, obviously, we've done a lot of work on this and done a lot of investigative work. 
talked to a lot of people. You just saw a couple people that we've talked to today. We've talked to numerous people regarding this, numerous people that know you. And uh, so we got a feel. I have no idea. For you. I mean, you never get in there, right? Well, here's, here's the thing nobody's been hurt yet. Okay, but okay. I'm telling you, sir, nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt. A single shot on the freeway. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, right. I go down the shooter's world and I go down the by PIR and I shoot at the water. Here, listen, listen. I'm not going to argue the facts with you. No, I understand. Sir, so but I have the facts. I have the facts in here. Okay? And what I'm here <clears throat> is obviously this doesn't look good. Yeah, okay. Can you tell me this? It's a shock to me, bro. People, people do things. Maybe they're having a bad day. Maybe they're frustrated. Maybe things are going That's on in their me, personal man. life. That's not me. Well, I know your weapon, gun, your weapon a gun is a weapon and it can hurt somebody. Your weapon was involved in it. And I don't understand how. Well, here's the deal. I don't. Is this you? Yeah, it's me. Okay. We've done all this investigative research. He has it right there. And... Guess who's in the middle of that picture right there? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And where are, where are all of these lines joining at? Where are they all meeting at? Me. Okay, so that tells you right there that everything that we've done investigative-wise, everything that we have evidence-wise, all keeps pointing to you. And I'm trying to give you the opportunity here, Leslie, to sit there and explain to me why you did it. Sir, I have nothing to explain. I did not do this, man. Well, I'm telling you, we have your Facebook post. What's that? What I post? Uh, everything you have a lot of posts on there regarding these shootings that are occurring on I-10. We like, just didn't I pick follow up. the media. No, it's not a matter of following the media. Oh, because I believe in the no, second. No, no. Here's what the deal is: these guys that you said that we arrested these three suspects. As soon as these people got arrested, you're up and on this Facebook. They're on your Facebook yeah, posting all these things. You're, ta them. you're tagging Damon, That's and the funny. reason and the reason you're doing that. Is because you're basically trying to let Damon know, hey, look, they got these guys. They're not the guys that no, did this. No, what it is. My buddy right there, he believes in conspiracy theories and think the government's out to get everybody. So I tag him in it so he can read it. Well, that's interesting that after we arrest these guys and all of a sudden you're posting this stuff. Why didn't you post it before on your Facebook? It has nothing to do with the arrest or anything. I've been following the whole story. Well, it's not on your Facebook till after these guys get arrested. So all of a sudden, then now you get some type of interest in it. I've just been following it. So explain to me how your weapon that has been scientifically I don't tested. Know. I can't tell you how. I don't know. Well, here, you have a weapon that you purchased. Yes. Okay. You're the only person that has owned that weapon. Yep. Um, you just told me, and I just got that information from everybody else that I spoke to, that you've never lent that gun out to anybody. Nobody else borrows it. You have it with you at all times. Yep. So it's never been out of your possession. It comes back ballistically. That's okay. Test it, and it comes weapon, back sir. to those bullets. You check every camera on the I-10 the last well, month. Trust me, trust me. I have not been on the well, fucking here's, I-10. Here's, here's the thing that's <clears throat> funny that you said that. Funny thing that you said that. That is, those cameras have been up, and those cameras cover every mile okay. on the interstate. And guess who we saw on that video? It's been recorded. You have pictures of that as well, can show me? I got video in there. I got video in there. So if you need... To see that video to sit there and prove the point rather than being okay, a man so rather than being can, a man and just admit i'll tell you where i've been i went to 44th street and chandler boulevard because i have a job there her name's nancy lutz we get her yard this has nothing to do with That's anything to do this has I nothing can. to do with your work or any of this okay well i'm telling you i have not found you're it. familiar with what i am telling you yes, you sir. know yeah but i'm telling you i follow them I can't follow shit. I'm not even talking about your Facebook anymore. I'm, I'm talking. Fired. I'm talking. There's there. There's no. It, it's just not out of the blue that you're here, Leslie. You do. You it know? really is because I've not fired it's, my it's not out of, it's, not, it's, it's not out of the blue. You're here for a reason. You wouldn't be here if there wasn't evidence for you to be here. And I'm all I'm trying to do is I'm, trying, I'm just trying to give you the opportunity to maybe explain why this happened. Like I said- Well, I'm not gonna admit this. Hold on, I did not well, do, man. Hold on, Leslie, I'm just telling you, and I'm just gonna let you know, everybody's human. Yeah. And sometimes good people do stupid things. But I'm and, and, and you know what I mean? Sometimes they do stupid things and there's stuff going on or there's just mm -hmm. a reason that I they do it. That. And all I'm saying is, is I'm trying to give you the opportunity here to explain to me why you did this? Was there something going Dude, on? I didn't did do it. Some, you was, keep saying was, why I did it. Why well, I did not do it. 
your gun was used. Yeah, I swear on the Bible, I put on my kids. Well, I, I did the not Bible, do it. The Bible's, the Bible's not going to help right now because okay, but I'm, I didn't I'm do telling it, you, I have, I have evidence. I understand. I have evidence. I understand, but I have not fired my weapon, man. That's the thing. I have not fired my weapon. Well, uh, here's this. Your weapon, who you have in your possession yes. at all times, yes. you've never linked you it to anybody. Friend, okay. No, I didn't find it on the very. I'm telling you that there's bullets that were fired from your gun that were removed from cars. How is that possible, man? I have not fired my weapon. I know we're telling you. Months, the ballistic tests don't lie. Well, then there has to be some kind of mix-up, man. Because there I'm is, not, there is no mix-up. I have not fired my there's gun in no, two months, man. Did you know that there's over two hundred and eighty-six thousand high-point guns? It, and you put it with a microscope and you line up the groups. I, understand I am how telling it works. you, there are two hundred and eighty-six thousand high-point mm -hmm. handguns that mm -hmm. have been sold, mm -hmm. and we just out of the blue find your gun. No, I don't know how it is, man. I think maybe can you guys been watching my Facebook? Oh, oh no, 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 so let's no, no, no. Your in. gun, your gun took us to your Facebook. Dude, buy guns, man, a damn pawn shop. How is this possible, man? I am telling you. I am telling you, because I know when you pawned it. You pawned it. You pawned it on the day after the last shooting that we connected to your gun. Period. You pawned it on August 30th. And it was right after the last shooting that we had on the freeway that was connected to your gun. You pawned it after the last shooting. We have videotape of you Pond. Pond we have all pain. the pawn records, so I know the day that you pawned it. I know the time that you pawned it. And I'm telling you, I have videotape from the freeway with your silver car. I have ballistic test that comes back yeah, to you your gun. Yeah, you my gun out of my Absolutely. car. Absolutely bullshit. Absolutely, I have not fired my gun, dude. That's well, bullshit. I'm just telling you. Like I said, we're here because I have evidence. To I understand you have evidence, man, but I'm telling you, I haven't well, fucking shot my gun, dude. Me. I haven't. Well, then explain I, it to I, me, Leslie. I don't know how to explain it, man. How, does, how, does, how is it that your gun is scientifically analyzed and it comes back to the wep or to the bullets that were recovered at our crime scenes? Sure, I don't know what to you say. Pawn it, you pawn it on the day of the last shooting after the last shooting occurs. No, how video no, tape. No, the last shooting. Well, then explain it to me. Where's it at? Let me see these things right here. Where's the last shooting? The last shooting is this copycat shit. Oh, you got my video. I'm shooting my gun. That's cool. Oh, I'm fine riding on the I-10 because I'm not afraid to ride on the I-10. What's this? Oh, what's this one? September 12th. DPS investigating two more incidents. These are so way. Now, these are these are oh, these are way. These are way after the incident. These are You're things. These me. are things that that you posted after. You're saying you after the, the last suspects shooting. Were arrested. You're saying after the last shooting. The last shooting was the 30th. That's when you posted. This is September 12th. No, no, no. We're not talking about your Facebook. Now you're now you're just trying to twist things. Now you're just trying to show you something. Things. You're trying to twist things, and you're not going to twist it because I, I know no too to much anything. about this case. I have no reason to twist anything. Dude. Well, I have not fired my gun. Man. I don't things. know what to tell you. Well, I want the truth. I want you to tell me. I don't me the know truth. what to tell you. The truth is, I have not shot my fucking gun in at least two months, man. That's the truth. Well, somebody has, and you're yeah. telling me that you've loaned it to nobody. Nobody, nobody else has man. had it. Nobody. Nobody. I don't know what to tell you, man. Well, I'm telling you that your gun was used to shoot these cars on the yeah, interstate. I'm telling you, my gun has not been in my possession or fired by me in about two months. Okay, well then, if you can sit there and provide me with a good reason why your gun has been scientifically... Yeah, I don't know what to, to tell you on that, man. I'm not a scientist. I don't know, man. I have no idea what to tell you I on that. I can only tell you where the evidence is pointing. I know, it all points to me. You got your little thing there that tells me that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what to tell you on that, man. I don't. I have no idea. I'm trying to give you the opportunity to tell me the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I don't know where... The hell this scientific bullshit's coming from, but I have not fired my gun from my hand in two months. That's the truth, okay, man. So is there some reason why your friends would be on the gun? Because I shoot my gun. Okay. Just trying to see from our point of view. Okay. I understand. You know, we have your gun. My gun, my friends, matches up. Oh, your, no, no. Hand. We have your gun. Mm -hmm. We have the bullets. Mm -hmm. It comes back to you. You know, so I was going to ask you this. When you found my gun, right? Oh, never mind. There wouldn't be no bullets in it because that's a pawn shop. Never mind. That, never mind. Forget I said that. Well, here, here's the thing. You have to understand. It's all going to come out. That's there's okay, search. Man. There are search warrants being served at your house. Mm -hmm. There's a search warrant being served on your car. Mm -hmm. There's other things that are going on that I'm not even going to get into. So it's all going to come out. All I'm trying to do is give you the opportunity to explain to me why. You know what you're going to find out? I know what happened. I know what happened. I just don't know why. rounds on top of a clear dresser because that's the only rounds I have for my gun. Well, I'm just telling you. Because the other ones were stolen out of my I know what happened. I just don't know why. They're Winchester 9mm Luger. 
here's the thing. I know what happened. I just don't know why. And the only person that has that answer is you. No, I can't tell you why because I didn't do it. I don't know how to tell you or what to make you, what to say here, man. Well, uh, well, what I'm trying to figure out is why it happened. Like I said, I know what happened. I just don't know why. I don't know if it was something where somebody was maybe threatening you on the interstate no, really. and you know you felt like you needed to protect yourself and when you're doing family. this you know dude i had i don't know i have not shot my gun in over two months from i don't know what to tell you dude well you know, i don't I, I wish i knew the answer to tell you here but i live I, I have not shot my gun in two months man well i i all i can tell you is, is i don't believe that because I, I only I can tell you You're gonna, based on my you evidence. Have evidence I absolutely, I have a lot but of. I don't, I don't know what to tell you on that, dude. My gun is banned. Okay, so why would someone who's kind of close to you tell you that they think you are capable of going and doing something like this? Oh, was that my boss? You get hold of him asking that? No, no. I'm just no, saying. Your you boss. just said somebody close to you. Why would somebody close to you sit there and say that you were capable of doing this? That you you have a tendency that it would not be uncommon for somebody to piss you off, and that when you get you know that when you get pissed off, you get mad. Yeah, I get mad, but I know the difference from fucking stomping someone's ass out or shooting them. I will not use my gun. I'm 280 pounds. I don't need that gun unless someone's breaking into my house. Well, I'm telling you, the facts are the facts. I understand, sir, but God damn, dude, I don't know. I don't know if this ADD. Like I said, uh, we're just here trying to figure out why, you know, because I, I, unless I, unless you can give me a good reason, tell me a good reason why your gun would be ballistically analyzed. All I can say is there's some kind of mix up, man. There has to be because I have not shot my gun in two months. There's, there's no mix up. There, I'm telling you, there's no mix up. I have up. no idea what to tell you then, man, because you know what? You can check my records. I may have missed one or two days in the last two months. I go to work, I come home, and I go to sleep. What days did you miss? Probably what, a Monday or I normally miss Mondays because we work hard days and fucking I want a three day weekend because I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Well, if you recall, what days did you miss? I mean, what were the dates? Come on, man. Do you keep track like that of all Absolutely. your Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm just surprised that I, I'm just, just surprised you. that you can. I mean, I can, you know, you can't say, I don't know what I was doing on this day. I can tell you a lot of what I'll I was doing. I'll tell you what, two days ago, you know, I asked my wife, oh shit, this Friday's the second, isn't she? Going, no, it's the 18th. I thought today was going to be the 2nd of October mm -hmm. because how hard I work, I get caught up in the days. What do you want me to tell you, man? Well, I, I, I'm not asking you to tell me anything. I I'm do just, very I'm physical, just, tiring labor. I'm just, I'm just trying, days, to, trying, to, trying to get things figured out as to why. I, like I said, but that's the I one thing I don't I can't provide you with that reason because I didn't do this, man. I understand. Believe me, I'm not calling you a liar. I understand I'm what your evidence you is saying. But I don't know how this happened, bro. I fucking have not shot my gun in two months, dude. And, and like I said, that's why I'm here talking to you. Because my, all my evidence, as you have I know, man. seen a little bit of it, it's, it's I, telling I me a story. I know, but I have no idea what to say here, dude. I don't. I have not fired my gun in at least two months. And, and again, you can't give me a good reason why... Again, we just didn't go get your gun for no reason. There's a reason that... Because we, somebody fucking called tip line and said, Hey, I want 50 grand. Nope. It wasn't had nothing to do with it. There was no tip to it. It was just plain old police work. There was no tip to it, no nothing. Okay, well, how does my just name a, just pop up in all this whole investigation? I just told you. We have video. They've been videotaping the freeways oh, for a long time there's, now. And there's, they have, there's cameras. They have cameras on there right now that just have a live feed. I know cam, that. It's not even a live feed. They record. There's cameras every mile on every I know. major freeway. I know. It's to okay. Traffic and those cameras, they sit there and they provide us information. I and know. then you take that information and then you move forward. Then all of a sudden, your that. gun is located at the pawn shop. And all my of a sudden, thing is, I have not shot my gun in two months. I know that because I know. When I go shooting, I know. Well, uh, again, um, like I said, I know what. Yeah. I just don't know why. And, and the only one that knows you why is you. You keep trying to say, "Oh, I did, I did." I'm telling you, dude, I didn't. Well, dude, if you get a polygraph right evidence. now, if you get a polygraph right now, I'll pass that shit because I have not. So you're willing to take a polygraph? I'll fucking take one right now, dude. Okay, I'll, I will sit. I'll there take a drug test. I'll take whatever you want. I don't I need. Shit. I'm, not worried, I'm not worried about a drug test. I'm saying if you're willing to take a polygraph, I will talk to my supervisor and see that. Now my question is, 
this polygraph. You sure. take this polygraph, and if it comes back and it shows that you're not being truthful with me, then what? Then where do we go? Because then at that There's point, no that's all, you all, you all, you is, all you have is all this evidence, and then this polygraph comes back and it says, Leslie's not being honest okay, with you. But then the where do we go? The only way that will happen is if someone manipulates the evidence. See, because I know you have I have not shot my what gun. I'm hearing, what I'm hearing is, again, all these people are trying to do this. I'm telling you, this is not an opinionated thing. I know, that's, you nothing. did all your, your thieves work and you got, I understand that. I'm just saying. Then explain to me, if you're saying it's not yeah, you, I don't explain to me. What do you want me to tell you, man? I have I not let no one use my I'm fucking gun. You. I have not shot on the fucking free. That's just stupid. Well, how did it happen? I was fucking retarded. Well, then how did this evidence bring me here? I had good old-fashioned police work, I guess. I don't no, know. No, no, it's, I'm just telling you. How did how did this evidence point me in this direction? If you're telling me you didn't do it, then how did it how Because does, somebody how does it told you that I'm capable of it. But I'm telling you right now, I don't give a fuck what people say. I, I'm not going to hurt someone. I won't take their life. That's ridiculous. Well, didn't say you were trying to hurt anybody. I'm just saying. Sometimes things happen. Sometimes get people get frustrated. You know how That's many people? That's not me, bro. I'm That's just not saying, me, though. You know how many people that they deal with that sit there and they just get frustrated and they just boom, they start popping off rounds out of the car. We deal with that That's all the time. That's not me, man. That's not me, though. I'm, I'm not that stupid and irresponsible to do that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Well, I can only tell you where we're at on the evidence. I know, man. I, but I just don't know what to tell you on that, man, because I have not shot my gun in two months, dude. I haven't. That's just straight facts on that. Okay, well, you, keep, you keep coming back to this two months. You haven't shot your gun in two months. Where did you shoot your gun two months ago? Down PIR. At PIR? We're at a PIR. Down underneath the bridge, you walk down, probably about a mile. There's nobody around. Shoot trees and there's a little bit of water there. Okay, and this was two months ago? Easily. Okay. And what time were you down there by PIR shooting? It was a Saturday. I want to say noon, one, to about four. I go down there, hang out, shoot it up. Okay. Do you ever offer Damon to go out and shoot with you, or do you ever ask him to go out and shoot with you? Yeah. Okay, and do you do that every other weekend? No, dude, I, it's just expensive. You can't just go every weekend, man. Um, again. Obviously, you know, there's a reason why I'm making the statement, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm being told that you ask every other weekend for him to go shooting with you. No, no. Every, I mean, once, once, twice a month, hey, you want to go? I might go shooting if I have the money. Now, two times, I ain't got the money, so I don't call him. So you, you understand where I'm coming from. There's a lot of mm -hmm. information we're getting, and it's, it's, it's not lining up with the information I'm getting from you. Yeah. But so... Again, so are you telling me that these other people are all liars, or? Yeah, I'm telling you that. I ask him maybe when I am going to go. It's been once or twice a month, if that. Once or twice a month. Okay. So that would be every other week. Okay. All together, I've asked him maybe five times. Okay. And of those five times, I've not went one time. But if it's every other month, like you just said, or a couple times, you know. You, you like just what you said if it's a couple times a month it's every other week so mm -hmm. what Damon's telling me is correct that you ask him approximately every other week to go out and shoot with him if it's twice Same. a month I've asked him maybe five total times dude that's the truth so I don't know what you want me to tell you on that man I'm, I'm not asking you to tell me anything Leslie I'm just I'm just trying to I'm just trying to understand I'm, just just I'm trying to understand things and like you said I'm trying to get to the bottom of things but I'm sir I'm looking in your eyes and I'm telling you as a man I did not do this man I didn't do this okay. I'm not that irresponsible dude well could somebody have been with you in your car that no. that maybe no. might have done this do you have any information on this is this maybe how that your gun got involved you know this? what the only guy I can say that's trying to fuck me over is a guy named Alito Chavez because he just got fired from a job what's his name again Alito Chavez Abelito Chavez, is that, that's the same guy that you commuted with up until the last time that he just yes, got sir. fired this yeah. last week? He's the only person I would know that would have a problem with me. Okay, and why would he, why would he because have a Because the day he got fired, it was because I was fixing all his mistakes at, jo at the job site. And I called him, I texted him, I said, hey man, send a picture, I said, I'm fixing your shit because you didn't do it right. And he said, oh, well, Dave told me that's how he wanted it done. I said, no, it's not, because I, I know how the job's supposed to be done. Since then, I, mean, I guess that's probably why he has a problem with me. All right, well, Leslie, could it possibly be that maybe you were in a car? With yeah. some, hold on, hold on. Maybe you were in a car with somebody. 
and obviously you said that your gun's always with you. Is it a possibility that maybe you were in a car and somebody else was in the car with you? Nobody touches my firearm. And, and it's fired mine. off your gun? No. Okay, so if that's not a possibility, again, just if you just listen to me, again, trying to get to the bottom of this, if you're telling me that it's no way a possibility that you could be out driving on, on the interstate, on I-10, and you're driving, somebody else is on board, or vice versa, and somebody takes your gun and fires it, but yet we know that your gun was involved in this, again, where is this taking me? I don't know, I mean, no one has shot my gun, dude. It has not been fired within fucking 20 miles of the I-10, dude. I don't know to tell you, I don't... Okay. So, go ahead, sir. So this guy, Chavez, has he ever gone and taken your car out on his own? Oh, fuck yeah, dude, a job site, tell me, go ahead, man, go, you gotta go to the bathroom, take my car. Okay. So, like, has there been a lot fucking guns under my seat? God damn it. There you go. I, when I take my, I take my gun with me and my gun, you know? Obviously, I'm not gonna walk around the job site with my gun. So that could be a possibility. But yes, he has taken my car. You know, like, yeah, go ahead and go to the bathroom, whatever. But when he, you can ask Damien, go ahead, because I already know you're probably in contact with him. Whenever he did go to the restroom, 30, 45 minutes. The rest of the quarter mile down the road. Okay. Um, let me just... That'd just be so the we, only possibility so I got, can, man. So that we can visit this. Um, where were your job sites during, the month, City, during the month of August? Hold on, hold on. Okay. August. Where were you working in the month of 44th August? 44th Street, Janet Boulevard, and uh, one more. Scottsdale and Hayden. Scottsdale and Hayden and 44th Street and Chandler Boulevard? Yes, sir. Okay, so is that the two locations that you had been working for the whole entire month? For, I want to say the majority. For the okay, majority? So then, during those months, did you ever go and work on a Saturday and a Sunday? No, no. Maybe I might have worked a Saturday, but I can't. I mean, you guys are asking me to remember dates, bro. I am fucking bad with dates. I'm dyslexic, man. Okay. I, I get numbers, dates, all that shit. You know what I mean? Okay, did you ever let him go and borrow your gun, this guy Chavez? No, dude. I'm telling you, nobody will borrow my gun. So you're going to tell me when he would go and take your car to go to the bathroom. My gun's in the car. So you got for a good 35, 40 minutes. Yes, sir. Okay. That's the honest truth. All right. And you worked a few jobs out east and one up at Scottsdale Road and Hayden, you yep, said? Yeah, Okay. So when you come back to the car, do you ever notice saying that your like guns out of place or anything, or do you ever notice? There's been that? a couple times I thought maybe it fallen out of the holster because I put it under my seat, and a couple times I put it back in my holster. So I mean I don't know if it could have fell out or maybe he was doing that. But I'm telling you right now, I have never fired a shot on the freeway, dude. That's just I'm telling you, that's the stupidest shit anybody could do. So tell us about this guy. What's his name again? Alonio Chopper. And where does he live? Alright, go 50 50 Calumback. If you're heading, see north. If you're heading east, make a right, 50 50. Go to the stop sign, make a left. You go down the wolf, it's right there. What's his address? Let's see one. So, our way third back. house on the right. About like, how far away, about like how far away from your house does he live? About three and a half miles. Okay, so uh, pretty close. Mm -hmm. Is this the only gun that you own? Yeah, I've had other guns, but I lost. I had a Mosin the Gun M9130 that I lost to the pawn shop. Hey, you're on. Uh, yeah. I used to have. It was in my cousin's name because she bought it, and I was supposed to buy it from my H and R partner, Pump Twelve Gauge. But I no longer have that, or the Moser. Okay. You don't have like an arsenal in your house? No, nah, fuck no. Fuck no. That's my only gun I have. You guys can go search. You can do whatever you like. Oh, trust me, that's probably happening right now. Is that's fine. That's fine. I have no arsenal. So do you? Do you feel like you're? You. You feel like you're a pretty responsible gun owner? Oh yeah, man. I got gun locks. I fucking I won't leave my gun down. I put it up in the uh what do you call it, top of the closet. I got two kids, man. I I cannot be responsible. So are you somebody let me see, I'm trying to get maybe some of your habits. Now granted, ideas. yeah, I do go shooting, maybe places I should not be shooting. Okay. But well, I make sure that I'm not Are you aware if if anything is missing, in other words, rounds missing out of your gun? I'll, I'll put it this way. How many rounds does your nine millimeter high point hold? And uh, what is it? Eight in one capacity. Okay, and then when you get home, do you obviously do you secure it? Do you sit there? Do you take the magazine out? Clear it out, take the magazine, rack it well, if there's one in there, I'll rack it out, put my gun lock on. 
Okay. At any point when you've done that, after um, this individual that you work with has been in your car to go use the restroom, did you notice anything where rounds were missing or anything? You know what? There was a couple, I don't know, a couple in the cup holder, and I was like, what are those doing there? Oh, maybe they fell out of your gun. And I was like, no, dude, they don't fall out. Do you gun. keep extermination in your car at all? No, no, only the, that 250, actually 256 rounds, because I was going to go to the range. They were stolen. The whole, I had a backpack, black Jansport, 250 rounds, my high point box, earmuffs, and a cleaning kit. Would you, do you feel like you would have known if your gun was fired when these guys had your car? You know, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm not one to sit there and check and take it apart and everything. So I, no, I wouldn't have. So, but you, you feel pretty confident that you would have known if you're missing a round out of your magazine? No, I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't, when I take it apart, I don't count it around. I just take them out. I leave them on top of my dresser. So you take the, you take your rounds just, out of your magazine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how many rounds does your magazine hold? Eight, but I mean, I'm not sitting there counting them. I just pop them out, put them in, pop them in every So when you're back loading them again? Mm -hmm. I don't count them. I just put it in because okay. I don't have, I don't put them back into a bucket with more rounds. Whatever I have, just put it right here. And when I get ready to go out, I put them back in. Okay. Do, you, do yours have the little indicators on the side of the magazines that indicate? It's got like two view rounds. windows. Two view windows. Okay. Anything that you noticed that was out of the ordinary about those view windows? No, man. I, I'm, I don't, what do you call it? Forensically scan my gun every time I use it, man. Okay. I just, okay. So what you're saying is that you go home at the end of the day and, and you unload your gun. Mm -hmm. So, so you don't keep it loaded. No. But yet you buy the gun for protection for your family because you're in a bad because you're in a bad neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna do if someone breaks in the house? Well, me and my wife have a strategy. I'll go fend them off. She'll load my gun and bring it to me. Isn't that kind of like a waste of time? Got kids, man. That's all I can tell you. I got kids. I can't just leave a loaded gun in my house. Good point. You know what? Can you give us a couple minutes? Um, I know you mentioned the the polygraph test, so I'm going to just give a couple minutes, um, just so that I can get some additional information to bring back in, and then I'll, I'll sit there and I'll talk to my supervisor and, and let him yeah, know that, that this is something that you're interested in doing and see if it can be set up. So if you give us a couple minutes mm -hmm. and we'll come back and and uh, readdress this, okay? Mm -hmm. Take a break at 23:43 hours. Anything else? You good on water? I'm all right, man. Okay, we are back in the room. It is 23.55 hours, still on the 18th of September. Okay, Leslie, yes, um, went back and reviewed some things. Um, earlier I was asking some questions and I was sitting with some different things because I wanted to get a feel of mm -hmm. when you were being truthful and when you weren't being truthful because obviously I know a lot of things that you don't know. But and I saw, I only heard one honest thing out of you, and uh, that's just based on my knowledge of the case. And when I hit I you with, when I hit you with that you were shooting out of your car, that was the only time that you were triple with me. Only time that you've been triple with me in this whole entire interview. I'm not lying to you, sir. I'm telling you, that's the only time that you've been honest with me because I went back and I knew that you weren't being honest with me. And then when I hit you with the one thing. Just to see, just to see if you were going to be honest and not honest. That's the first time that you were honest with me when you said, yeah, nope, I wasn't shooting in my car. No, I was not. I know you weren't. That's the only time you've been honest with me in this interview. The rest of the time you have it, ask yourself. Yes, sir. Based on what we have evidence-wise, what do you think a jury's going to think? <laughs> By what you have, I have, no, I have no lawyer, no way to prove my innocence. Well, so I'm, I'm just telling you, if, I'll put it this way. If you were on a jury... 
and I'm sitting there and you're listening to this and I'm telling you I have video I have ballistics testing you can't you can't argue the ballistic testing and it's science that you can't argue I understand that. and you own this gun yes. nobody else has, bond, has borrowed it from you you have it with you you have it with you at all times right yeah when you leave your house for a personal trip you have it with you right mm -hmm. when you leave it to go to work you have it with you yeah. if you were sitting on a jury what would you what would you say i mean if, if there's a guy fighting to clear his name like that Taking into consideration, you know, this guy's really trying to prove that he didn't do this. Just take a minute. Just take a minute. I understand. From and just listen to everything. Twelve people, maybe one of them will believe me. Well, just listen to the facts. I hear you. You always right. have the gun. It's always with you at all times. Yes, Nobody sir. has ever borrowed it. Nobody else. You've never loaned it to anybody. You are the one that has that gun at all times. This gun but has been scientifically proven to me. I'm just telling you. If you were sitting on the jury, what would you think? Obviously, like I said, 11 people would say it was me, but I had not done it. And you would be the only one that wouldn't think it was you? So are you saying that you would be the only one out of this 12 jury pool? I don't know. You I'm would be the only one that would be sitting there saying... I'm sure there'd be a couple of people with, you know, maybe he didn't do this. With all the evidence. I understand, sir, but I'm telling you, I did not do this, man. I have no reason to lie, man. I don't want to fucking go to jail. I got a family to take care well, of, man. And, and that's 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 a, that's another that's interesting you bring that up because that's going to be my next point. Um, if if you're saying that you weren't doing the shootings, yes, sir. I spoke with your wife earlier, mm -hmm. and she said that she was with you on the 29th mm -hmm. all day. Mm -hmm. She said she was with you all day the 30th. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? That's the weekend, man. We're together all weekend. Well, I'm just asking you. Not, not. Yeah, I happens. think, I believe, yes, is that the is that the case? I'm with my wife every weekend. Okay. Any day I'm not at work, I'm with so, my wife and kids. So if that's the case, and these are dates that these shootings occurred, and you're telling me that you didn't do the shooting, so are you, so are you telling? No, no, so all right then. Well, then look at where I'm coming with this. So somebody no, had to do it. It wasn't my wife. It wasn't me, man. Well, if you were with her all day, these days, and these, and these bullets no. were fired on these days, and were recovered on these days, no. and, and they come from your gun. No. She's afraid of gun. She doesn't like the fact that I have a gun. Or had a gun now. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You, know, you understand what I'm saying? I hear you, man. But no, neither one of us. You know, it, it, it has to be one or the other here. No, it's not. That's why I don't know what to tell you, man. Neither one of us. Okay. Well, one of us, man. You said that you, you've gone shooting recently out by PIR. Mm -hmm. Have you gone shooting any other place recently? The only the only place I've gone is PIR or Shooters World. That's okay. it. Okay. And have you gone with anybody? Has anybody gone with you when you've gone shooting? Uh, my sister-in-law and her boyfriend. Okay. And who's your sister-in-law? Serafina Barone. Okay. And who's your brother? No, and, her boyfriend. I'm sorry, her boyfriend. I apologize. His name is Marcos. I don't know his last name. She left her husband and now she's with that dude. That's all I can tell you. Okay. And, and do you recall when you went shooting with them? I know it was a Saturday. It was in, I think I want to say in August. I can't give you that exact. I know it was a Saturday in August, man. That's true. That's. No, you know what? Maybe it may have been July. May have been July. Yeah, you know it was July. It was around July 4th, I believe, too. Okay, and when you went shooting with them, did they shoot your gun? Or oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I, that's, I saw my sister in law how to shoot a gun. She never shot a gun. I said, oh, here, let me teach you. Okay, so, so you asked this guy, David, to go shooting with you all the time. No, not all the time, man. Has he ever gone shooting with you? No. He, uh, his wife got him on a tight leash, man, so he don't do that kind of stuff. No, no, no. once or twice? He never went one time with me. Not one time. Okay. This guy, Chavez guy, uh, uh, does he own a car? Yeah, he got a van. He has a van. Toyota Sienna. A Toyota Sienna. Okay, is it the only car he owns? Oh, uh, well... I've never seen him, but he says he has a Lexus, a Nova, and two other vehicles. Any kind of trucks? He might have a truck, I don't know, but all his shit's up in Williams. Okay. So, man, because, um, 
from uh, going and talking with Damon. He says you're the kind of guy to go and put a lot, and to put a lot of like uh, of uh, of uh, blame on somebody else. Nah, I don't know to man. If it's me, it's me. But that, I'm telling you, this right here is not me. Okay. Then what car were you with? Then uh, what car were you in when this happened? I didn't do it. Okay. That's the thing. <laughs> what other car could be involved? I don't get in nobody else's car, man. Have my car. You know the thing is, Leslie, that we've a lot of the people that we spoke with, and the reason mm -hmm. we just keep coming back to this, okay, we we know what this is. And you know, I talk a big game, man. I talk about how I, I want to get all these guns. I want to do, this, but I'll never be able to afford guns. Okay. Well, we've also talked to a lot of people where they they basically have said that you know when you do something wrong that you have a tendency to want to blame others no and, i'll own up to my shit and I'm, I'm well i'm just telling you i'm just telling you what people have told me and i'm not saying just i'm, I'm not even worried about damon okay mm -hmm. i'm talking your wife i'm talking people that are close no, no, to my you wife wouldn't say that. well I'm, I'm telling you i spoke to her earlier and you know she was here earlier and mm -hmm. you know that i spoke with her mm -hmm. i'm telling you i've spoke to people that are close to you and they've all told me the same story and the same story is that when leslie does something wrong leslie won't own up to it what he does is he blames everybody else there's always another reason there's another person this and that and then it makes you and then, run the same story on no, no 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 there is there is there is no running no story okay because it makes sense to me because, because i'm listening i'm listening to you and i'm listening to damon is this another one of your conspiracy type stuff here no, because no, i'm telling you i'm telling you, you, right now. I'm telling you what up. they told me i own up to my shit well obviously you're not owning it up to it you can ask my boss i fucked up uh somebody's concrete with a bobcat you know what we I mean? already know we already know all about that Call and that was, was that was another one of the things that we were told that you tried to sit there and say somebody else did that's a crock of shit well i'm not telling you a crock of shit i'm telling you i'm telling you the facts i'm telling you what i was told and what i was told i knew all about that okay. doing the donuts and then losing the load i i, I never lost the yeah it was, it was what, what, what they told us what they told us it was it was like some bricks that were on board there were some donuts and then the bricks went all over the place and, and that was donuts and a bobcat leaving tire marks everywhere yeah, i never lost a load because i don't the only time i used to about doing tire marks and a bobcat yeah i did that okay. fuck yeah i did that and then you blame somebody else on it no okay why would your own wife even go and tell us? Yeah, I think he did it. Why would she <laughs> even tell she us that? that? No, I'm telling you, she said that. Bullshit. No, I'm just telling you. He's telling you. He's being honest with you. I'm being honest with you, man. She said that you At the end of the conversation, of this. she said you are capable of going and doing something like this. She did yeah. yeah. So that's where I'm confused, Leslie, because talking to these people, mm -hmm. they're all telling me that you have a tendency to want to blame everybody else. How close can you zoom up on those cameras? Because I'm telling you right now, you will not see me firing a fucking gun on the freeway, man. So, 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 okay, so who are we going to see? I can't tell you that because I don't know. My gun has been at the pawn shop or in my damn fucking closet, man. That's it. I don't shoot my gun in a city like that. That's just stupid. It's just, just I, I'm not that dumb, man. Well, you know what? It's not a matter of trying to question your intelligence. Everybody, no, every, everybody does stupid things. Yeah, but I'm telling you, I would never fire my gun at a person unless they're an immediate threat to me. I didn't say that you were firing at a person. You're saying I was firing at cars. There are people in those cars, correct? Absolutely. I would not do that. Absolutely. Okay, so there was someone in a in a a a uh, threat to you? No, no. While I'll drive? No. So you told me that when you drive on the freeway. When someone say Mr. got a little too close, a little nah, bit of like um, on, road rage, you ever gone and shown your gun no, at him? No, I flipped them off. True, right there. That's true, man. I have no. I, I understand that a gun is a very fearful thing to a lot of people, so I'm not just gonna go, "Hey, fuck you." That's stupid. You you don't do that shit. I mean. <laughs> I'm being as honest as I can be here, guys. I don't know what to tell you. I didn't do this. My wife didn't do this. I don't, know, I don't have the answer. Well, you know, all I can tell you is I've tried to give you every opportunity to explain why. Like Sir, I said, I'm telling you, know, I can't explain. I know, I know what. I, I'm sorry, Leslie. I can't. I understand, sir. Get beyond I'm, that. I I know what happened. I just don't know why. And we're trying. We've tried every which way. Are you trying to cause fear to the public with all no, these theories you have going on? Yeah. Trying to cause fear to the public. I got no reason to do that, man. 
don't know, maybe doing that as spite. You know, you seem to have a fascination about going to jail, about about, stuff, about, about, about stuff, about stuff going, about certain people going and being in prison. You always asking Damien about his time in prison. Your dad was in prison. Was your dad in prison? Yeah. That doesn't mean I want to go to prison. Okay, but you have a, a, a coin in, like you have a good little fascination about it. Like you're constantly. Got- I like to know what it's like in there, yeah, because you know what? I have people that say, you know, prison changes. You know, I say, well, how is that? What happened to you in prison that you changed? Okay, so then right there, do you think you need to be changed? No, I don't know. I don't want to go to prison, dude. I live my life the right way. I don't get in no trouble. I don't steal. I don't go out and hurt people. I go to work and I come home and pay my bills. That's it. Okay, so you have at all. So, like, have you ever been arrested before? Mm hmm. Okay, for what? Getting in fights with my family. That's most of them. Uh, and then, what was it? 17. No, 18, because my son was born. I got uh, arrested for stealing copper off telephone poles. And I still owe restitution on that. How would you describe that you deal with frustrations in your life, Leslie? Well, most of the time I just breathe through it, man. I, you can't. Once in a while I get mad, I'll hit a wall. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck yeah, I'll hit a wall. Other than that, I just breathe through it, try to calm myself down, walk away from the situation. It's not worth it. How would you describe your life right now? Is there any frustrations going on? It's frustrating that I'm being, I understand you have evidence. I'm not trying to call you a liar or anything, sir. It's very frustrating when I'm telling you I did not do this. And yes, you did, yes, you did. No, I well, didn't. Like I said, I, I don't have to tell you anything mm-hmm. because my evidence stands on its own. I understand that. So I don't, I don't have to tell you anything. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to figure things out. You're here. trying to, I know. And, and like I said, I'm just trying to figure out how you deal with stress. I know. How people that like I said that are close to you that I've spoke with how they told me that you know that when you get stressed you you get angry you get yeah, mad I you get frustrated or or somebody does something that you don't like you well, just I will you never get use a weapon in very angry I won't so you know I have logical thoughts when I'm mad I'm not a, a fucking mad ape guy out there just destroying shit by no means calm no, I understand I'm just as a uh, what do you call that example mm-hmm. I'm not just gonna flip my shit and just, oh, fuck it, no. No. I have no reason to do that. It's not worth it, man. I got two kids and a wife to worry about. It is not worth going to jail. Well, you know, like I said, you're going to jail. Mm-hmm. That's that, There's no ifs or buts about it. And that's what I keep trying to tell you. I have enough evidence to sit there and move forward on this. I understand, sir, but so, I don't know what to tell you, man. I fucking have never fired my gun on the I-10. On any free for that matter, in the city, no. Well, oh, oh, Leslie, we're having a tough time trying to believe you right now. I understand that, man, but I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm telling you, the God honest truth, I would not do this. I would not do this. Who wants to fucking go to jail when they got a family at home? Well, here's the thing. I don't know that anybody really intentionally wants to go to jail. Okay, like I but said, I it's didn't, just like what I told you. People I wasn't angry. Things. I didn't do nothing out of spite. I didn't try to scare nobody. I didn't try to scare the public. I, I'm not that person. I, I didn't do this shit. I didn't do this. I'm not to tell you guys anything. I did not do this. My wife didn't. I know she didn't. She's afraid of guns. I didn't. Matter of fact, she can't even drive on the freeway. She ain't got a license. She just drives occasionally because I'm trying to teach her so she can get a license. Because come tax season, I want to get a truck so she can have a car to take my kids to appointments while I'm at work. Do you own any other cars? Do you ever go and borrow another car at all? You got to have a car you ever borrow? No. Fuck no, I have time to fuck off ask for a car. Okay, what about like somebody else? My grandma got the truck. She wanted to know to drive it. I've owned several cars. I've owned... Your grandma has a truck. Yeah, she has a S10. Black S10. Is it Black S10? Is it actually, is it a... Uh, it's her name. She's still paying for it. It's right out off the ground. Is it truck? No, it's, it's a little, little baby truck. truck. Just a normal truck. Okay. But I can tell you, I've owned a Grand Marquis, uh, Oldsmobile, what else? Chevy Malibu, Saturn Ion, and this Saturn I have now. Have you ever borrowed any of your wife's relatives' cars for anything? Maybe your car's not working? Maybe no. something's going on with it? No. I've only taken my father-in-law's Tahoe from him back to my mother-in-law's house. Which is to where? From where to where? From 75th and Indian School to 47th Avenue in Nicolette. Okay. If you want another route, take 75th up to Glendale, go to Myrtle, take Myrtle all the way to his house. Well, I, you know, I, 
I, I just I don't have the answers for you, Leslie. You know, Believe cause... me, man. If I knew anybody that may have done this, I would tell you, man. I don't want to fucking. I got a family to worry about, man. Wow. My wife don't work. My son, she can't work. Cause my son's got some issues. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna pay the bills? Me. I'm not gonna jeopardize my family because I don't want to fucking go scare the public. Fuck that. Well, I can only tell you what the evidence is saying. I know, man, but I don't know to tell you. My, I've never, as you said, the only truth is I have not fired my gun on the freeway, which I have not done. I have never done that. No one's borrowed my car, except for Alito to go to the bathroom. I've never borrowed anybody else's car. My wife can't drive on the freeway, and she don't like guns. I don't even want to tell you, man. Uh, you know, I'm no lift the truck. I, Fuck, I don't know where to lift the truck. Okay, what was what does a lifted truck have to do with anything? He mentioned a lifted truck. He said one said my girl's truck it's not lifted or anything big off the room. Oh, he's just trying to get an idea of what the truck looks like. Yeah, I'm I'm oh, no. I'm not telling you, man. I mean, like I said, the only time it could have been is if I would took my car and got on the freeway. That's all I can tell you. I would not do this, dude. It's not me. And why would he do that? The fuck if I know. I know. You know this person better than I do. Tell me about this guy. He got the stressful life. He got six kids and a fucking cheating wife. He got stressful. I ain't got stressful life. Oh, has he ever mentioned anything to you that he was out there using your gun, shooting no. your cars on the freeway? I don't know. But I mean, you have no reason to believe that he was using your gun to shoot cars on the freeway, do you? No, but I mean, that's. I'm just giving you answers I got, man. They're in my head. Mm -hmm. I have never. Fired my gun on any interstate, freeway, or highway ever. Okay, so let's go back to August 29th. Mm -hmm. What were you doing on, on that day? Do you know what? I did pawn my gun on August 29th. Because we were at home, my daughter's crying, I said, What's wrong? Oh, she don't have no formula. So let's go pawn the gun and get the formula. I bought formula and some sandwich shit so I could eat at work. Put like 15 bucks in my gas. Then me and my wife went and got shit and went back home. Spent the rest of the day together. Do you know anybody at Mo Money Pond? The military guy. I'm, we talk every time we're there. Okay, any friends or anything that work there? Because I mean, it seems like, like you said, when you pawned the gun three times that you've pawned it at Mo Money Pond. Because they'll give you the most. Everybody else, is, it's a high point. You know, obviously you guys know guns. High points are crappy ass guns. But they give me the most money, so I go there. Okay. Um, every time that you've gone and you've pawned there, have you dealt with the, the same guy? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Do you happen to know his name at all or anything that... Maybe Chris, I think. I'm not too sure. Okay. Can you kind of go in and describe him? All right, he's a heavier... He's a big dude, you know. He's ex-military. He got the armband tattoo. Um, square jaw. He, he's a pretty built dude. Yeah. White, brown, same color here as me. So you think you pawned it on the 29th? I guess I'll talk to you just a second. Absolutely. Let me take a break. It's, uh, it's 0 15 hours on the 19th of September. Okay. Good. Oh, yeah, man. Okay, we are back in our room. It's double zero, 26 hours on the 19th of September. All right, Leslie. Yes, sir. Just uh, kind of like a final question here for you. It's really not a question of, of the gun that was used or the rounds that was used. We know it was your gun. Mm -hmm. What the question comes down to is this. Was your finger on the trigger, and then if so, or, and then if not, whose finger was on the trigger? Because we're going to get a physical characteristics order, we're going to swap you. We're going to get DNA on the gun, we're going to get DNA on the cars, okay? So that's the question I have for you. Mm -hmm. 
My DNA is on the gun because it is my gun. I have not shot on any freeways. No one in my car or my family, my wife, nobody, has shot my gun on the freeway. I don't know what to tell you guys, man. I'm not going to tell you, if me and my wife did not do this, I have no... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you, Leslie. I don't think your wife did it either. I know. And I, and I feel pretty confident. And um, I think that was a question that only you can answer. You know, um, we know that your gun was involved. I understand. And the shooting's on the freeway. But I'm telling you, I did not. And as Detective Falcone said, either your finger was on the trigger. It was not. Or you know whose finger was on the trigger. And you witnessed it. And if you're going to sit here and tell me I don't know, then there's nothing else that I have because I've given you, every, I've person, given you every opportunity. The only person that has ever held my gun besides me or my wife is Abelito Chavez. That's the God honest truth. And that's on the way to work or on the way home. He's like, oh, got to chase your gun. I'm like, yeah, don't be fucking fucking with it though. Well, here's the problem though. You don't work weekends, right? And no. You didn't work the weekend of the 29th of August, no. right? And you didn't work. Uh, Sunday, August 30th, did you? Yeah. Okay. Well, those are the days that we're looking at. You know two of the days that we're looking Can at. Can you just tell me this? Is Labor Day this year, was it July 1st? It was, July, it was the 7th, 7th of September. Never mind. All I can tell you, sir, is I did not do this. I cannot tell you who did it because I really, honestly do not know. I don't know how to explain this any other way. I have no reason to lie to you guys. I have no reason to lie to you. I, I don't know what to tell you guys, man. I honestly don't. Well, all I can tell you, Leslie, is I've, I've, I know you're trying to help I'm, me out, man. I'm, I'm just, I've just tried to give you every opportunity. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and conclude the interview. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have you just sit here for a minute so that we can get one of the detention staff. We're going to place you into a holding cell. We're going to get the booking paperwork done. Um, and then you'll be transported down to Maricopa County Jail. Will I get a call at any point in this? Uh, once you get down to the jail, that'll be something that you'll work out with the jail staff. At any time while you're there, if you... I'm telling you, man. <laughs> if you decide to be honest with me, at any time while I'm building the, the booking paperwork, if you decide that you want to be honest about this situation, all you got to do is yell out and we'll talk. Um, other well, than that, if not, then there's really nothing else that I can say. I have not done this, and I can't tell you guys because I don't know. That's the thing, man. No one takes my car. Well, I, I, like I said, I can, like I said, just based on what you've told me mm -hmm. and based on the evidence that we have, you know. So how do I get back out of the jail? Do I see a judge and oh, here's fifty thousand dollars you got to pay to get uh, out. You know that'll be that'll be between uh, that'll be a decision that the judge will make. Um, at your initial appearance, and then that will be worked out there. I can't tell you, know you what, what the, I can't tell you what the outcome will be. Do you know what I get an initial appearance by chance? Uh, you know what they they do initial appearances twenty four hours a day, so it's hard to say when that'll occur. Uh, like I said, I, I I don't know the specifics. Of you know, that. sir. I, you know, I appreciate you guys not being like movie cops being assholes because all I can tell you, man, is I, I don't know who did it, and me and my wife did not do this. I, I can't tell you anything other than that. I wish I wish I knew who did it, so I could say, "Hey, it was this guy, no doubt." I hear you, Leslie. Like I said, I, I don't believe I. That's another I thing that I agree with you. I don't believe your wife did either. Um, like I but said, you also stated that you know I was not shooting on the freeway. You told no, me no, that. No, no, no. I never said that you. I never said that. I didn't believe that you were not shooting on the freeway. If you anything, said the only truth I told you. Was the only truth that the only truthful statement that I that I know that you made to me was that you were not in your car. When the gun was fired i never said that no i said that's the only truthful statement that you have made to me is that you were not in your car when you fired the gun on the freeway at the cars and and that's like i said um it's it's late so um you know like i said i've given you opportunities here and i, I wish so, i'm telling you again man, i wish i knew what to tell you yeah. okay well, we're going to go ahead and we'll conclude the interview. And like I said, we'll start your booking paperwork. And like I said, if you change your mind, all you got to do is yell at me. I don't know what to tell you, man. I didn't do it. I know. There's no change in my mind because I didn't do this. Okay, this includes the interview. is double zero, 31 hours. Okay, go ahead and have a seat here. Let us get the detention staff. Was there no the polygraph thing? Uh, you know, if the, if the county attorney's office decide that that's a, a thing that they want to... But you know they won't use that because that's not valuable in court. Absolutely. 
There's something I can get for my feet, man. All those guys got shoes. They took my shoes for that. I still tell boots. Well, they'll work on that. You know, they have a certain protocol that they got to follow up on this stuff. So, okay. We're tracking developing news in the case of the Phoenix Freeway shootings. The Maricopa County Attorney's Office now settling a lawsuit with the man initially arrested and later charged in the case. Team 12's Bianca Bono is live in the Alert Center with the details. Bianca. Yeah, guys, according to court documents, DPS investigators say they were pressured to make an arrest. But now county officials are settling with the man who was initially busted. Three years after DPS labeled him as the Phoenix Freeway shooter, Leslie Merritt Jr. is getting paid. I told you guys when I first got arrested, I didn't do it. I'm telling you now I'm going home, I didn't do it. Merritt maintaining his innocence since his arrest, put behind bars for several months before the Maricopa County Attorney's Office dropped the charges. Now settling with County Attorney Bill Montgomery's office for an undisclosed amount of money. They were focused on Merritt. They looked at his gun, they erroneously came to the conclusion that there was a match. DPS investigators rushing to arrest Merritt amidst panic in the valley, claiming cell phone towers and ballistics linked him to the violent crimes. Even Governor Ducey tweeting out, we got him. But an internal memo written by the two prosecutors highlighting the factual issues in DPS's case. One major problem, they said, DPS's overreach in their ballistic analysis, linking bullets from the shootings to a gun Merritt owned. They also claim cell phone analysis actually corroborated Merritt's alibi. The damage that has been done to Leslie Merritt to his family is unforgivable. And this settlement is possibly the first of many. Merritt still has pending lawsuits against the head of DPS, the state of Arizona, and others. Since Merritt, no other arrests have been made in connection to this case.